Hi everyone and welcome to another fascinating Better Mankind video. Now one of the things I really enjoy doing is researching some of the most strangest and mysterious locations on earth and the ones I've chosen for this video are very weird to say the least. Some of these places are so baffling that even science struggles to explain what might be causing the phenomena in these parts of the world. So without further ado, let's take a look at five bizarre places in the world that even science can't explain. Number five, the Boiling River. Deep in the Peruvian Amazon jungle, there is a mythical river that contains boiling water reaching temperatures in excess of 200 degrees Fahrenheit. For many years, this place was nothing more than a story passed down from one generation to the next, and Andreas Ruzo remembers his grandfather sharing this tale with him when he was just a young boy. However, 12 years later, Andreas became a geoscientist and set out on a journey deep into the jungle of South America in search of this boiling river. To his amazement, he actually found the river and sure enough, the stories his grandfather had once told him were all true. Imagine a river so hot that no living creature is able to survive in it. You can even cook your food in the river and if you decided to go for a swim you would instantly receive third degree burns. Now hot springs are not uncommon and thermal pools do achieve these temperatures in other parts of the world but nothing even comes close to the scope of this boiling river. It is 25 meters wide and 6 meters deep and runs burning hot for an incredible 6.24 kilometers. Add this to the fact that the river is around 700 kilometers from the nearest volcanic system, these high temperatures make absolutely no sense. In fact, it's the only river of its kind anywhere in the world that we know of. Chemical analysis has revealed that the water in the river originally fell as rain. Ruzo has a theory that this happens far upstream and perhaps as far away as the Andes. Along its journey, the water seeps into the ground where it's heated by the Earth's geothermal energy and eventually emerges into the Amazon, making its way down the bubbling river. This, of course, is just a theory and has yet to be proven conclusively. Number four, the zone of silence. Located in northern Mexico, this stretch of rugged desert is often referred to by the locals as the Zona del Silencio, translated as the Zone of Silence. It is an epicenter for some of the strangest phenomena ever experienced on Earth, and scientists are at a loss to explain any of it. It is a place where nothing electrical ever works. If you take your cell phone, it stops working. Take a radio, it also stops working. Even a compass will continually spin like crazy and never function as it should. The Zone of Silence was first discovered in the 1930s by Francisco Carabia, a Mexican pilot, who claimed that his radio had mysteriously failed to function while flying over the area. One of the more stranger cases involving the Zone of Silence took place on July the 11th, 1970. On that day, the US military launched an Athena missile from its facility in Green River, Utah. The missile was programmed to land 700 miles away at the White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico. But for whatever reason, the missile veered hundreds of kilometers off course towards the zone of silence and crashed. It was almost as if some unexplicable force pulled it towards this location. But many claim that the missile is not the only object that has been pulled into this area. Ancient alien theorists believe that a large number of meteorites have crashed here. Much of the evidence indicates that the zone of silence is some type of energy vortex literally sucking in meteorites and space debris directly into this small area of northern Mexico. The other strange thing about this area is that the vegetation never grows as it should, ranging from purple cactuses, upside down trees, and various other animal and plant-like mutations across the region. During the mid-1970s, a number of people experienced strange sightings of unknown craft flying over the area. There have also been many reports of people seeing three very tall blonde beings that do appear to be human, but there is just something not quite right about them. Two of them are male and one is female, and said to be fair-skinned and very attractive. The ranchers in this area were the first to notice these three strange people, as from time to time they would approach the ranchers and ask them for water. Whenever the ranchers would ask where they're from, they would reply, from above, which let's face it is a very strange answer. Many of the people that encounter these beings would avert their attention for a split second, and when they look back, they have vanished into thin air as if they were never there in the first place. This location is often referred to as the Mexican Bermuda Triangle, and if you stay there long enough, you will start to hear and see things that aren't really there. Then again, maybe they are. Number three, the never-ending lightning storm. There's something quite electrifying about a good lightning storm, and I for one enjoy them immensely, as if you couldn't tell from my stormy background. 
but there's a place in the world where the lightning occurs up to 260 days of the year at an average of 10 hours per day and 280 times per hour. This fascinating spot is where the Catatumbo River empties into Lake Maracaibo in Venezuela's far northwest and is believed to be the most lightning struck place on earth. Scientists have tried to figure out the reason for the uniquely intense storms for decades now and still haven't been able to come up with a definitive answer. Some of the theories range from uranium deposits in the bedrock are attracting more lightning strikes or the conductivity of the air above the lake was boosted by the abundance of methane from the oil fields below. Now neither theory has been proven to date and scientists remain puzzled at why this particular location produces so much lightning. Everything about this place is very mysterious including the one time in 2010 when the lightning inexplicably just stopped. But after six weeks of silence the lightning storm started again and haven't stopped since. They say lightning never strikes twice in the same place but with over 1.2 million lightning bolts a year this is one location that proves this statement wrong. Number two, the mystery of Mel's Hole. 22 years ago, a story about a mythical bottomless hole near Ellensburg, Washington took a life of its own when a man by the name of Mel Waters appeared on Coast to Coast with Art Bell, which is a nationally syndicated AM talk show. Waters talked about a mysterious hole in the ground on his rural property about nine miles west of Ellensburg. According to Mel, people within the region would dump all of their garbage and unwanted goods into the hole but never hearing anything hit the bottom. They would even throw in large objects like refrigerators and car tires and yet they would never reach the bottom. Mr. Water started to wonder if the pit was indeed bottomless and became obsessed with trying to find a way to reach the bottom. One of the experiments he tried was to use a fishing pole with a huge amount of line and a packet of lifesavers on the end. He was under the impression that when he would reach the bottom there would be a pool of water and the packet of lifesavers would dissolve. But no matter how much fishing line he used the bottom could never be reached. He also found it bizarre that when yelling into the hole there was no echo to be heard and his dogs would avoid the hole and never go near it. One of the locals told Mel that he had thrown his dead dog into the pit and days later saw the dog running through the woods while hunting. Now Mel asked him how did you know it was your own dog? To which the man replied, not only was it identical to my dog but he was wearing the same collar. The hunter's account freaked Mel out but at the same time he was fascinated by the story and he wrote in his will that when he does pass away he would like his corpse to be thrown into this hole. Now not long after the coast to coast interview, federal government agents seized his land with no explanation as to whether the hole was a dangerous threat or of any importance to national security. The cover story given by the government at the time was that an aircraft had crashed in the area and only military personnel were allowed on the property. Waters claimed that federal agents offered him $250,000 a month to lease his land to the government on the condition that he leaves the country. Now Mel was not doing so well financially at the time so he took the offer and moved to Australia. Now here's where the story takes a bizarre turn. After almost three years in Australia, Mel decides to return to the US in the hope of reclaiming his property. Now upon witnessing an altercation on the bus he was travelling on at the time, the police asked him if he could accompany them to the station to make a statement. Mr Waters remembers nothing from this point forward and 12 days later finds himself in an alley surrounded by homeless people. He also realises that his molars had been removed and his arms were covered in needle marks. Now you might find this story almost too weird to be true but during the third and final interview on Coast to Coast he encouraged the listeners to look up his property on the Terra server website which displays up to date satellite images. He further stated that when they look up the location they will see a white box covering the entire property. Minutes later a number of listeners sent through images to the radio station and sure enough Mel's property was indeed concealed on the satellite image. Number one, the Taos Hum. For decades now, residents of Taos, New Mexico have been haunted by a mysterious sound known as the Taos Hum. Around 30 years ago, a number of residents started to complain of a never ending low frequency humming noise that was driving some people to the brink of madness. What's even stranger is that not everyone can hear the constant humming, but for those who can, they suffer from headaches, insomnia, breathing difficulties and acute anxiety. As the legend of the hum began to grow, so did the curiosity for finding the source. Some people describe the sound in terms of music as a low E flat. Others say it sounds like a running diesel truck or a high powered bass woofer and yet none of the researchers sent in to investigate have ever solved the puzzle. Of the 5,000 residents in this location, only 2% are able to hear the sound. The absence of an explanation for the sound has people fearing that it might be caused by extraterrestrial activity. 
Another theory put forward by Professor David Deming from the University of Oklahoma thinks that the hum could be coming from top secret US military activity. Extremely low frequency, otherwise known as ALF technology, is used as a form of weaponry due to the excruciating pain it is able to inflict. Research has shown that these frequencies that range from around 3 to 30 hertz and reach a distance of 10 kilometers can disable the central nervous system, disrupt sleep patterns and cause dangerous electrical currents in the body. In 1993 an outspoken group of believers successfully lobbied Congress for an official investigation and not long after a group of experts were assembled from the University of New Mexico, Los Alamos National Laboratory, Phillip Air Force Laboratory and Sandia National Laboratories to look into the existence of the alleged hum. Yet despite using sophisticated sonar tracking devices including a purpose-built ear, they found no evidence to support any low frequency sound. Their findings were published in the Acoustical Society of America and turned up no definitive explanation. Their final conclusion of the study came with the words, we are left with a mystery. There are no acoustic signals that account for the hum, nor are there any seismic events that might explain it. To this day, residents of Taos continue to be plagued by this mysterious sound and scientists are unable to provide any conclusive explanation. Now I would love to know your thoughts on the strange phenomena occurring in these parts of the world and if you enjoyed this video, give me the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also don't forget to click on the bell icon if you would like to be notified every time I upload a new video and until next time, take care and be good to each other.